Some of the major car manufacturers are having second thoughts about assembling cars locally. Wayne Hutchinson has his dream car all planned out. He has already built it and soon he hopes to start selling them. Wayne's interest in mechanics started at a tender age. Well, at the age of nine, uh, I reassembled a vacuum cleaner or floor polisher. People might think that as much, but um, my, my mother wanted it to, to use it. And um, I told her, give me a chance. Let me put it together. And the old man couldn't believe when he came back home it was working. At age 13, his next venture in mechanics was working on a Volkswagen which he put back together and drove at home. The experience back then made him want to build cars. I always wanted to own a sports car and most of all a supercar. Uh, something like a Lamborghini or Ferrari or a Jaguar. And uh, I knew that um, being a, someone from the Caribbean is kind of difficult because of the foreign, foreign exchange and stuff. That the only way to get this um, supercar is for me to build it myself. And this is my main motivation into building this car. But as a young man with a secondary school education, what was he to do in this competitive world of work? With his family moving to Santa Cruz from San Fernando, he chipped in as the family tried its hand at agriculture. Well, basically, we were looking at trying to revive the estate they had um cocoa and stuff but um we realized that was futile it didn't make any make any sense and um, basically right now we're looking at the, the flowers flowers industry and while they tried to get the flower business started he feels his future would blossom somewhere else teaching himself how to design in the computer he went on to build his first car at home now he is working on selling his first green car which he says he may call the Piranha. Without the muffler, the car fits its name, small and vicious, like the Piranha. Basically, I'm using uh, our local steel, um, which is available on the market, and uh, which is now being used internationally on cars of this sort. What I do is get on an, an old car in pretty good condition, and then from there I will recondition overhaul what components are not good uh, like wheel bearings uh, seals um, i'll probably sand sandblast the running gear and put it back up scrap it down and then put it back up together so that when you you'll have a remanufactured vehicle basically you say remanufactured what about the body the body will be brand new and the chassis that's the only thing that'll be new on it the body and chassis Wayne says what he is doing is no different to the people who started making Ferraris, Jaguars, and other sports cars. His love for sports cars is obvious. The yard is strewn with Jaguar and Volkswagen parts, and he is presently restoring an antique Mark II Jaguar. As the design and construction of the prototype is complete, Wayne has plans for marketing the Piranha, which he says will be quite affordable. I don't want to put no big price tag on it because I, I think uh, I want uh, every young guy out there who wants to own a sports car, the same opportunity I, I, um, I, ha I have right now. I want to give it to them, you know, because um, how many people can buy an MX-6 or a brand new Mercedes-Benz Sports set with over $500,000? I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, this is somewhat, something for the, the young man out there. He's quite aware of the challenges ahead of him and plans to expand gradually. Basically, I'll be operating from here. Uh, I, I have no overheads and um, it's the best place to start because uh, that's what kills a lot of small businesses when they, they start renting big buildings and they're getting over above their head and eventually they just crash and burn. I'm not looking at that at all. I'm looking at starting off very small and working my way up. It's not a bad ride, actually, and Wayne hopes that by the end of this year, he should be able to establish his new business selling the Piranha. For Gayap, Andrew Bruce reporting from Santa Cruz for CCN News.
with the TV6 News when we get back a special report on a piranha. It's about a wish and a dream, determination and will. It's about a young man of Santa Cruz whose dream of having a car led him to build his own. But now he's done it. The bigger dream is to share it. Tonight, in our Friday feature, Gayat, Andrew Bruce tells us about 29-year-old Wayne Hutchinson, whose vision for the future now is his own car assembly business. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 